Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. Isaac, no matter what happens, it's been an honor. The battle to end all battles, where the victor rises to the highest honor in our world. May the best trainer win. The world champion. And the new champion is... Are we going to make it to the big leagues? I mean, I think anything's possible, you know me. But it's definitely not going to be easy, and it's not guaranteed. That's right. Together, we can do anything. Isaac, come on. We got to go pick out our starter Pokemon to begin. And I can pick one of the basic Pokemon starters or one of these custom starters. I'm going to pick this thing. It's a worm. I'm going to be going with Totodile. He is my all-time favorite, and I just I cannot not pick him, basically. Do you even know how to throw out your Pokemon? No, I don't really know anything here, Isaac. But it says, welcome to Paradise Ash Ketchup. It's an advanced server, and uh, keep inventories on. Well, first things first, I see we got a Pokeball voucher, so I'm going to open this up and see what kind of Pokeballs I get. Oh, oh, I got eight Love Balls. Nice. I got eight Moon Balls. Oh, Zach, do you want to trade four and four so we can have four of each? Nah, dude, I'm trying to not be friends with you, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, that's fair. By the way, guys, we're playing on the Anubis MC Pixelmon server inside the Paradise Realm. All links and information will be in the description below. You found a present containing five tokens and $500. Oh, that's nice. The very first step in adventuring into our new world is finding a place for Isaac and I to live. We're each going to have our own base, but we need to find somewhere away from all the other people competing for this prize. A river where we each get one side of the river. I want this side because it has a cave and I want access to the cave. Well, guys, it looks like I was going to have our starter bases set up. They're outlined by this little claim region right here and I can't expand past it. So Isaac, I don't know about you, but I think it's time we get started on these bases. Yo, I don't exactly know the mechanics of how I catch wild Pokemon. And I don't know if I'm going to waste a lot of these. I'm going to try a moon ball. Oh, I caught it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a level five Teddy Ursa now on the team. This is fantastic. We've also got 37 planks. So what we'll do here is we'll just kind of round this off, make a nice little balcony in the front. I got it all cleared out now and we can begin construction on our starter base now. We're just going to make like a little villager home, basically. Isaac, do you hear like the most weird noise right now? Like a bird or something? Not over here. Not on this side of the river. Strange sound I've ever heard. I can't figure out. Oh, it is a bird. Oh, freaking bird stuck in a tree. I already have two Pokemon. Now that we've cleared out this place, we needed to start collecting resources and start building our base. Oh my gosh, if these things keep saying Aracuda the entire video, I'm gonna lose my mind. They literally just say their name over and over. They just go, Aracuda. Worst neighbors ever, and the worst part about it is they're level 10, so I'm not even good enough to kill them yet. What are you doing down there, buddy? Just get myself some sand so I can actually get myself some glass windows on this bad boy. Uh, what do you think of my base? It, you're definitely ahead of me. I don't know how you got that much build already. Yep, yep, yep. This thing looks really cool. I'm gonna get some sand too so I can get some glass up there. And Carvana is not part of the current Poka event, but I did catch it. That's pretty cool. I haven't, I haven't tried any Pokemon, by yeah, I'm pretty excited. Can't take it anymore. We're about to find out if you can kill Pokemon with your axe. Like, I'm just going to try to beat these things up. Oh, you can't. You can only kill them with other Pokemons. I think with 64 ladders, I'm able to get deeper, and this should allow me to get some stronger Pokemon early on. And what is this? Some new ore? Not sure what it is. We'll have to figure that out. Now, Isaac and I chose some different strategies. I decided to go down the mines to get some rare ores and Pokemon, while Isaac decided to go out in the wild open and explore. I've just come across somebody else's base, so I guess somebody on the server lives here, unless this is some sort of random structure that generates. We better get up here and check this out. What if there's ghost types in here? Oh, wait, no, a Diglett. I want a Diglett. That's cool. Bro, I caught a level 14 Diglett. I feel like I need to challenge Isaac soon, just early on to get a little power check, see where he's at, see where I'm at. Help me decide where to take my team from here. So let me get a little bit more ore and I'll get back to the surface and start smelting everything. Okay, I don't know exactly what this structure is, but it's like some sort of abandoned base right here. It looks awesome. And there's all kinds of blocks in here I can keep. This thing right here, which is a beehive. Those are pretty hard to get this early. There's a sofa. I definitely need that. That's gonna blow Loverfellow's mind. Oh, what is this? I just found some sort of armor right here. A leaf stone chest plate. Yes, I'm gonna wear that. That looks awesome. It gives six armor and our old armor only gave three some sort of grand clock i don't know that doesn't look too interesting to me and then what is this thing i don't know but we're gonna break it oh my god look how high level some of these things are i can make a full rock team down here bro okay he got out oh i got geo dude all right bet let's get out of here we have a lot of pokemon and a big fat ladder to make that is why you dig straight down look at that that's incredible we could just expand this out and turn this into a little smelting corner back here this would be pretty cool i like this idea that's nice because you come up right out of the mines bam go over here and begin your smelting so we're gonna pop this in 
Lion. Okay, and we also just got a potion that could be massive in our battle versus Loverfella. And we also just got even more potions as well as a brewing stand, which is apparently how you craft them. This is awesome. Exploring is definitely the best move early on on this server, I feel like. Whoa, look at this. Oh, it's a trainer. I'm gonna try to battle my very first trainer. Oh, this is our very first battle scene. So you can see it's set up like an actual Pokemon game and I have thrown my guy and his is stuck inside of the ground so I can't see it. Oh, wow, that, the, the way he sounds is a little bit suspicious, but okay. It, are my eyes deceiving me or do I see a milk tank? Gosh, I want you so much on my team right now. Okay, we have got to capture this thing. A milk tank is gonna blow Loverfella's mind this early. All right, so he's level eight. He is higher than us, but I think we can get him low enough to catch. We're gonna start out with a water gun. Okay, Totodile avoided his attack and got his water gun off. That was really big. Okay, in the top left, you can see he's in the red now. Totodile is absolutely bossing this fight right now. We're gonna try to go into our bag and throw out a Pokeball. I'd love to catch a mill tank and a love ball. That just seems perfect to me. All right, here it is. It's rolling, it's got him inside. Oh, he broke out. Come on, I thought for sure we'd catch him there. And I did die, so let's throw out this guy. I think I'm getting wrecked. I think what I'm gonna do is actually pull out the Dusk Ball. Come on, Milk Tank, yes! We've caught a Milk Tank, I'm so excited. 228 XP too, so our Totodile got a level off of that. That is awesome. Well, interestingly guys, this random trainer defeated my entire team and I lost everything. So that was like my very first warm up battle there. I'm gonna be honest with you, it didn't go well. So I'm gonna see if there's a Pokemon Center that I can get to. Oh, uh, here we go, I found a Pokemon Center. This guy should take my Pokemon and heal them up for us because they all died from our very first battle. That way I'm more prepared to fight Isaac soon. There we go. All right, let's go back to our base now. Okay, so this is a much more challenging world than I had expected. Oh, look at Abra, I would love him. He's one of my, he's gone. All right, we got 31 Pokeballs and we're basically just gonna roam the forest until we can fill up our party with at least six. That way we'll be able to fight trainers and including we want to be able to fight lover fella. So I'm just going to look around until we see one that I recognize. Oh, an Ekans. I would love to get a poison on my team this early, but are we going to be able to capture him without fighting? I don't know. Okay, I think this is a very low chance of actually working because we've thrown like 10 balls at him and he usually breaks out instantly. This is like a legendary early game, I feel like. Oh, we got him, no way. Awesome, so we have a level 12 Ekans now. He's our top dog. After exploring for another 15 minutes, Isaac finally came back to his base. My inventory is full of all kinds of loot. Look at the variety of the Pokeballs I got. It's gonna be incredible. I managed to nab myself a level 19 Magic Carp, but I do know that Magic Carp evolves at level 20. So all we have to do is get this thing to grow one level and we are going to absolutely dominate Loverfella. Bro, this was literally as a kid, my very first Pokemon I ever catched. We've got to add him to my team as a permanent player. Oh, caught it. The odds of finding one of my very first Pokemon, it just seems like it's meant to be. All right, we're taking down this Sentret right now. It's taken a really long time because Magikarp has almost no attack damage right now. All right, guys, it's time to overcome our very first obstacle, a battle against my brother. And this will be the very first battle we've had yet. What I'm gonna do, I Isaac is I'm gonna create little standing platforms like in an official Pokemon battle and we must stand on these for the battle to take place. Here we go. I'm sending out my first big dog. Oh my god, you have a milk tank. Isaac's giant milker versus my little tiny centipede. Let's go ahead and get started here, folks. Oh, it's super effective. Nice. I'm super effective. That was my attack. Oh, never mind. Boom! He just absolutely dominated Venipede. Let's go, Milk Tank. I don't know Milk Tank's weakness, so I'm just gonna send out this guy who unfortunately is also almost dead because I forgot to heal him. This is okay. <laughs> that battle for me, baby. Hit him with a shadow oh, sneak. It doesn't okay. even affect me, baby. One shot. What he can't do, though, is beat this Pokemon, Ghastly. Dude, actually, I think my, my move will not affect him because he's a ghost type. Oh, what? I thought it shouldn't even hurt him. One shot him. Milk Tank is a monster. All right, we'll send out this guy. We'll send out Carvana. Nice little fish. This this should be where we're good. Okay, yeah. He's one Psych. shot. What? Boom! All right, Diglett. Finally. Bam, bam. Oh, dang, he's pretty strong. What the heck? How'd you get a level 14? He's all right. He's all right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is there about to be a comeback? What's going on, Isaac? Where's the damage? Dude, you pulled out a level 14. What do you mean, where's bam. the damage? I'm down to Fast. literally nothing, and I'm going to destroy Isaac, I think. Dude, I got a level 19 magic carp, Zach. You're not killing this thing. I'm not going to lie. That is very strong. Ooh, that did some damage. That did a little damage. Yeah, I mean, you are my type weakness. All right, Magikarp, you did Bam! your best out there, but you're going down. Diglett is unbeatable. I, I knew it. I knew when I got him. I said, I'm digging down to the center of the earth to get some rare guys Isaac can't do. Totodile with the water gun is going to be super effective versus you. Yep. Boom. That's okay. We have one more Pokemon to send, and I've saved the best for last. You got AA Ron? He's level 24? Folks, that's not even fair. How does he have a level 24? Let's go. 
Oh, Teleport. you got that Abra. That's nice. That'll be a nice little one shot for me. Bam, dead. Next. Oh my. I didn't think you had a level 24. It's not even fair. How'd you even get that? Oh, man. He can't even uh, compete. I, I think we're going to lose. I What a comeback here. I Who would have thought he had a level 24 just sitting around in the back? He can't even compete. It was Listen, a good fight. You're actually going to show off after beating me with a level 24. I, I'm leaving. I can't even talk to you anymore. I'm going to go heal mine up. Nice try, though. All right, that was a pretty good battle. The only reason I beat him is because I got lucky from that one capture. But I know he's going to come back with vengeance next time we fight. So let's go ahead and go back home. So how do we make money? Let's go ahead and do an investigation. What are the best items we could do to sell? Is that an Appalin? It is. I am like 99% sure that this actually evolves into a dragon type, even though it's just an apple. And I'm going to try to catch him in a quick ball because I like the way a quick ball looks. It's actually a sick looking ball. All right, we're actually going to have to fight this guy. I didn't want to do that, but listen, he's just not getting captured. I think we need to make a big wheat farm. $5 each. That's going to really make us some good cash. But first, I need to get wheat seeds. So we're going to go out into the world, start collecting some wheat seeds to get this farm started. And uh, it's going to be a little bit tedious, but I think it's going to pay for itself very, very, very quickly. Perfect. We captured Appalin. Finally, we actually need to go back to our base to put him in our main party now. Um, and we're going to get rid of our dumb ladybug. But here is our first dragon type Pokemon. I spent almost an entire Minecraft day doing this and cleared out an entire biome. Hey, that's a cute little Pokemon. All right, well, I don't know any of the best ways to make money on the server, but farming is always like probably the best way to start, I feel like, because that's gonna generate passive income. I have 64 seeds that I can plant in my garden. So let's go ahead and start working on this, get our water placed and turn our arena into a massive farm that's gonna produce us infinite money. Each one of these will make $5. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's some good cash, folks. All right, I broke my shovel, but I got a huge area cleared out and we built a little bit extra on this. So this looks like a huge farm plot for us now. And we're gonna basically dig a water right down the middle of this with four dirt on either side. Interestingly, cocoa beans could be some good money because those are very easy to harvest, but they're a hundred bucks each. I would have to find a jungle biome and harvest them myself and bring them back, but that might make us some money. If I go to the overworld, there should be a teleport to a jungle. Okay, but it took me in the middle of the ocean. All right, so here is the new farm plot. As you can see, the water is going to go in the area that I dug out. I don't actually have a bucket yet though, so I can't fertilize any of this. Now I do remember, oh, I did, I found three iron to start this video. I remember that it was in the cave. So we can smelt this up, get a bucket and then fill all this in with a bunch of water and then hoe it up. I mean, there's not a lot here. What is this? A floating item? Oh, we found a free item. This should enhance our Pokemon stats. Well, let's go out and see if we can find anything else in this new area. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. Folks, we actually found like a new sort of structure here, uh, which I am very unprepared for. <laughs> Wow, it has random items that haven't been looted by other players. I feel actually very lucky. I'm going to take that. Don't know what this is, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. That was sick. Let's go back home immediately. We just got these items. Our inventory's full. We got to clear it out so we can do more exploring. All right, the farm is completely fertilized with water. I mean, we have to hoe up all the ground, but listen, we don't have any tools right now. The only ones that I have are the iron tools that came with the server, like as your starter kit. So I think what we need to do is actually go mining and try to get some tool upgrades before we continue with this farm. I'm going to go back to spawn. This is where, there's another player here. I just found out I can spin a wheel on this server to win a random pro. Oh my God, I think I'm going to get something good. A random evolution item. I've just gotten a razor fang, which is used to, uh, oh, that's good. All right. We got one torch in our hand, but we'll also carry the other so that we can place him down in the cave in here. Yep. Here's the diglet I heard. I knew I heard that. And that's what led us to the cave. Tons of ore down here too. So let's go ahead and stock up on this iron. All right. And these things are amethyst. I've kind of looked into what they do and they, they definitely allow you to teach your Pokemon different moves. So we definitely want to grab them. It's a pink diglet. What the heck? Is it a shiny? Did I just find a shiny diglet? No way. I got to get this. Okay, perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Our mine doesn't even go all the way down. I don't think to diamond level yet. If I were to harvest some wood and then build a bunch more ladders and then take this all the way down to diamond level, not only could I start getting diamonds for better upgraded armor and gear, because I can't afford them right now because I'm totally a brokey, I could also start selling the diamonds and then get a lot of money and then start buying really rare Pokeballs. So I hope this works. This is called Diglett Pink Palette. Does that mean it's like Diglett from a different version of Pokemon than I played as a kid? I got to go show this to Loverfell and ask. Is he down here? What are you doing down here? How did you dig all that out already? You came in just in time to see this. Did you find diamonds? Okay. <laughs> and you might've got diamonds, Zach. But do you have a pink diglet? Oh, you got a shiny? 
He might just be like a different version's version. Oh, you just find a pink day. That's still cool. I mean, he's a lot smaller than mine, but that's pretty cool. We need to get a diamond anvil as well because I want to get a little bit of enchantments on these bad boys. Harvest every ore we see. I don't even know what it does, but I'm getting it anyway. Also, we have something called rubies that I found down there in the caves, and I'm wondering, can we make ruby tools? Oh, you can make ruby tools. I bet these are amazing. I cannot believe that actually worked. Let's make some a ruby pickaxe and a ruby hoe. Why not? That's what we need right now. I feel like it's got to at least be better than iron. World boss event. I'm going to go. I feel like this is... Whoa. What do I do? Oh, I do battle it. Oh, I think he's going to kill me. Yeah, he's going to one-shot everything. I'm going to run. We do have like things called a citrus berry. I don't know if we can plant these or not though. Oh, you can. So if we get berries from fighting other Pokemon because they drop them a lot, we could start an entire berry farm here. So let's go kill a bunch of Pokemon. I can open up a skill chest because I got a skill key. I don't even know how I got it. I'm not going to ask any questions. Let's go. It gave me a park ball, which can be used to catch Pokemon and it will never fail. That seems really good. I also got a GS ball and timer balls. Oh, we are collecting a lot of different Pokemon balls. Oh, uh, right here. We got the Cramorant, which which is like a blue version of a cormorant in real life. As you can see, a magic carp tackle only does 9% of his health. I guarantee if we bring out a diglet, it's gonna do a lot more than that. So I just bought some iron. It wasn't that expensive. And I'm gonna use that iron to make our very first anvil. And now we've got this bad boy, which we can place, um, put it up in the wall <laughs> because that's all I can do. Finally, we can start enchanting things once we obtain those books. And I think it's time for us to make our very own custom ore chest now, which I think this would be a good spot for it. I mean, that's a juicy collection. This is gonna probably sell for some money. Did any of these grow in that time? None of them. Okay, not a singular one is grown. If I were to just pick a random biome and just go there, maybe I can find like some other sort of, I don't know, structure or battle or something to get started because I, I have to make a little more money to get started. And, and, and it's not good. We're not in a good spot right now, guys. So I'm definitely going to lose this battle and I'm not able to run away right now because this bird is so aggressive. My only chance of escape, I feel like, is actually catching it in a great ball. So we're just going to keep throwing balls at this and hoping that we'll catch it before it wipes our team. This is like Pokemon Go Spin anything? Whoa, it's a Pokestop. Ancient Pokeballs, Paralyzed Heal, Silver Curing, and oh, this is some good stuff. Some seats I can sit in. Is that barrel? Oh, Dude, the amount of items I'm getting is crazy. Like this is, this would cost me a lot of money. All right, he just squad wiped us. That right there, that is absolutely unbelievable. We got to warp to the Poke Center to revive our team. I was just running along here and I saw a tree that has some sort of light source down in it. I wonder if there's a secret ball in here. Oh, there's a master ball. So I don't actually think this is a real master ball, but it should be really good loot if we open this. We got a power belt, which when held by a Pokemon reduces the speed, but allows the holder's defense to grow more after battling. That seems really good actually, especially if we were to put that on something pretty tanky. Oh, I should put these boots on, I forgot. We have these boots that allow us to sprint so much faster. I would have been able to cover so much more ground if I was wearing these. And what is this? An abandoned nether portal right here? Pretty cool find. I don't know if anything would be here anymore. It's probably been looted, but there is a chest. Oh, okay. You know what though? There's some actual golden tools in here that have not been looted by anybody else on the server. That seems like it'd be pretty rare to catch and a fortune two pickaxe where if we find any diamonds, we can now get double diamonds. Okay. So I explored an entire Minecraft day. These are the, all the items that I collected in about 20 minutes. I'm going to go back home and I think I'm going to raise the stakes for this battle a little bit against Isaac. I got a question for you, buddy. What are you doing right now? Uh, I'm killing a Weedle. What do you say we raise the stakes of this final battle? At the end of this video, when we battle each other for the final battle, whoever loses has to delete their account and every single Pokemon they've collected. Dude, you're really gonna ask me oh okay deal i'm not gonna lose so I, i'm willing to accept that you accepted that very quickly yeah, yeah but i'm not gonna lose so i'm not really that worried about that gosh i'm very worried about that right now why did i just agree to that we are gonna have to train like never before i can't afford to lose everybody guys i'm already partial to a lot of people on my team it's just losing is now an unacceptable outcome for this video for me so well i was about to go back to the base but then i looked up and there's some sort of structure up here we should definitely loot that okay what did we just stumble upon here this is like a full-on village this isn't just a single house there's definitely going to be some amazing loot in here i bet oh it's closed off to the outside world no problem for me though, I'll break in, All right? There is some loot in here. We got a bone, a skeleton skull, and some bone meal. I guess the bones are worth taking though, because that'll help us increase our farm. All right, we also found some relic copper and some relic silver. And if you look at this, it actually can be sold to shopkeepers. So that's going to be a huge boost to our money right here. Oh, a pataya berry, that's a new berry. It was actually in the brew stand right here but that doesn't matter to me. I will take whatever berries that we can find. If I complete daily quests, that might give me a little early boost in cash. One of them was to like create four 
or silicon ore or something. I don't have any. A platinum pickaxe does exist. I would hope it's maybe even better than diamond. I mean, it, it sounds like it would be. So let's try a platinum pickaxe and see. It feels pretty good. This might even actually be about diamond speed. I'm not exactly sure. It's hard to say. All right, we got two more wheat seeds that we can get in the ground right here, but we also managed to get this pataya berry. So I don't exactly know what this is yet, but we're going to plant it over here so that it's separate from our other one. And the goal is eventually to get this entire farm plot full of the new berries. Oh, look at that. Yes. Big old fat diamond vein right here. Big old fat one. I got five of them. This is how much I've mined and that's how many diamonds I've collected so far. So not a whole lot, but uh, that was awesome. Okay. This level 19 hoot hoot. If we manage to kill this with our magic carp, I think this could be the evolution we've been waiting for. All right. Our Ekans is actually doing a really good job in this battle because he has the item that heals him due to his poison typing. I think he can carry us through this actually. Oh. Okay, Ekans has gone down. We're down to our mill tank now to try to carry us through this. Okay, mill tank barely gets it done. And as you can see, our magic carp is in the background evolving right now. Oh, this is gonna be so awesome. And it's happening right in front of Loverfella's base. Hopefully he sees this occurring. It's getting massive. Wow. It is an absolute beauty of a Pokemon right here. Gosh, did he learn any new moves? Oh, he just learned bite, perfect. So we've been mining for a very, very long time. I'm gonna go back to my base now and um, I'm gonna try to set a home here. So now I can warp to my home or warp to my mine. And that means I can just teleport there immediately whenever I need to start digging again. Redstone to me is just easy money. For $2 each, that's $120 per stack. Quick sell. This, this is an annoying animal. What? Stop it. Stop it. What are you saying? Oh my God, they're like freaking pests in my base. Wow, that seems like a really rare bug. It's blue. It says boss. Let's try to catch this thing. It basically one shots me. Okay. I do believe that carrots or potatoes are going to be our best bet. So we're going to spend all $500 on this. Okay, we got 47 and we will get these planted up instantly and we'll put them basically along this outside row right here. And 40 bone meal will actually expand the size of this farm significantly once we grow up these carrots. All right, there we go. With all the bone meal, we were able to fully grow this little patch here and that will yield us a lot of carrots, hopefully enough to fill up this entire side of the farm with crops. 339 experience. I won the battle and I beat the boss. So I get five experience candy. And uh, interestingly, I got tall grass. I don't know if there's a huge use for this. Oh, and I got two vote keys. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get a little something new right here. Open the first one, open the second one. I don't even know what I got. And honestly, I don't even care. We'll find out now. Some berries and um, maybe some money. I don't really see anything else. We'll put these in here. What you doing, buddy? Dude, I think there's a shiny outside of your base, but I don't know where you at. What are those poisoning me for? Oh yeah, put those there just in case you come over. You mean the shiny ladybug? Oh, I already killed it. It was a boss and I got all the loot that came with it. You can't capture it. Ah, that sucks, okay. Well, I got all these carrots, so I mean. I'm kind of in the lead now. Let's create an entirely new building that its sole purpose will be to store all of our cool items. Oak logs are not a bad money-making source, but the most expensive log for whatever reason is the acacia log at $5 each. So I need some acacia saplings. Very, this, this could be a good money maker. We're gonna go ahead and start an acacia uh, area. So we got over a stack of dark oak logs and these will be exactly what we needed to make this storage building. Let's just build it right on top of our other building and put it up here. Why not? Not. The build doesn't have to look amazing. It just has to store items. But I want to go to the nether, which I haven't really been to yet and see if we can trade up. And look at all this gold. Gold's great money too. Plus we're also getting loads of experience that I'm going to be able to use for some enchanting later on my tools. Does it seem like a waste to throw this at it? Yes. Am I going to do it anyway? Yes. I probably should have saved that for a boss, but I'm sure I won't regret that later. I love Houndu. That's a cool Pokemon. Yeah, let's go. I just saw your father. I'm sorry, children. All right, we're just quickly assembling this build. It's going to be bigger than the downstairs area and it'll also have access right from the farm here. We'll just kind of bring up the dirt to it. All right, so I think we did pretty good with the storage room right here. Obviously, we got to terraform it a little bit so that everything hooks up nicely. Now, as our mining levels up, we're actually unlocking really nice rewards over time. And uh, it looks like right now, we're actually got a chance to unlock keys and uh, we get rewards. Pretty cool. Sizzlepeed, bro, it looks like a, I don't know what that looks like. It doesn't look like an animal. That thing's really cool. It's like a giant fire turtle. I've never seen it, so I'm not gonna get it because I don't know what it is. Oh, dude, the nether Pokemon are sick. Okay, let's drop off some of our loot here as uh, we'll sell that. We don't need gold, we're gonna sell that too. So let's go ahead and get a quick old sell sesh here. All of this is gonna be sold for money, 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 money. We're up back up to $441. That is fantastic. Some money is flowing in right now. I was like, how much money are you at right now? I have $10, but it's because I just spent all my money in investing into this farm over here. And I just wanna show you something new I've added into the squad. I think you're gonna, you know. Yeah, throw them out. I'd be interested to see so I can type against them for our future battle. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's supposed to scare me, dude. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Back. 
Hold on a minute. Look at that. A gar oh, okay. Well, okay. all right. Well, You're trying to scare me with a fire dog, dude. I got an actual water dragon over here. I can ride him. Oh, oh no way. You got a rideable mount. How did you do that? Oh, can I ride my Gyarados? Oh, I can ride my Gyarados. Oh. Wow, look how much cooler I look than you. Well, this is less cool. Is it though, Zach? Because mine's a Gyarados. He has a swimming animation, look. Well, thanks for letting me know I could ride my Pokemon. Great talking to you. Sometimes it's best to just keep your mouth shut. This would be one of those times. This Golding right here is a level 25, but I bet you that this Gyarados wins this battle. It's just crazy the amount of damage its bite attack does. Look at this, 25% of its health on every attack, even though it's five levels underneath this thing. There we go, it just killed it. It's so easy to kill stuff now with this Gyarados. It's just game changing. Guys, this is the uh, gaming trader station or auction house. This is where you can list items for other players. So what we're gonna try now is uh, to see if we can't find something that I can afford and see what the market rate of certain items is. A good rod for $300. Got myself a good rod. I'm gonna see if this does anything special when fishing. And then I'm gonna go over to that fishing guy whenever he comes back and ask him to appraise it. All right, so we needed these birch slabs so that we could put them underneath the chests and everything because right now they're floating and it looks weird. And then some light would be the final touch. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. We kind of threw this storage room together, but it's really come together nicely. And it, what? <laughs> I'm a battling right on Isaac's base. I don't care. He just came over to my territory and he's fighting a trainer. I'm going to drown his character for this. You can't come over to my territory while you're doing this. Oh my gosh. Can he not actually fall because he's on this barrel? Hold on. We're going to figure this out. I think he just stole half of my stuff because I tried to break him out. He can't fall. Look at this. He's floating right now as he fights the trainer. I was fighting a trainer on your base and you basically killed everything. So I wouldn't recommend fighting him if I were you. Dude, he's a guest in my house. Did you not see the sofa? Okay, let's try this out. I need to see if I catch anything. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. What did I spend $300 to buy this good rod for? Oh, you catch Pokemon with it. I see. Okay. All right. Well, I don't really want that. <laughs> I'll put that good rod up there for $400. So we'll see if I can make a hundred dollar profit on that. This is the first time we've done any sort of flipping. I think what we should do is actually go off an adventure and try to get a new top tier Pokemon to add to the team. Oh, we get unlimited water breathing when we ride the Gyarados. So now we're really out here in the deep sea. I wonder if we can find any cool Pokemon out here. What the heck is this? Whoa, I'm gonna kill it. I can probably kill some wild animal. Okay, he's gonna kill me. Um, I can try to kill some wild animal. Okay, don't kill me. All right, all right, that already died. But uh, okay, well, we'll kill it with a fit. No, we will not. We will kill it with this. So you do definitely get items for killing these guys. So you got to do a lot of training with your team in order to make money. <gasps> Another underwater structure. This is what I'm talking about, guys. The server has so many awesome features and this is one of them. Look at this bad boy. It's like some sort of underwater chapel. I don't even know if Gyarados is going to fit through this. I might have to do a little solo mission here. All right, we're busting in and then I got to figure out where the loot is. Oh, what's down here? All right, I don't know what this trophy is. I found it at the bottom of the ocean, but nothing I do will allow me to capture it, unfortunately. Okay, unfortunately, I don't know how to get this trophy right here, but I know where it is now. If we ever figure out what that is, we'll be able to get it. In the meantime, I think it's important that we just continue our exploration. So we'll go to the nether again. There's gonna be rare fire guys. We catch them all. We improve our Pokedex. We get a rewards for doing that. Then we make the money and we can beat Isaac. If it doesn't work, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel like if I was a dragon, I would wanna live at the top of a hill like this, no? I mean, it's so high up here, you can fly around. There is a Pokeball hidden down here in the little cave. We got a psychic gem off of that, so that's pretty good. <gasps> a Larvitar, doesn't this evolve into a Tyran? Oh my gosh, we gotta catch him now. Yes, this is a great guy to find. And I think because he's level five, we should be able to just throw balls at him to catch him. So there's actually, there are blazes here. Can I fight him with my Pokemon? Oh, he's dead. Right, he's dead, he's dead. I probably shouldn't waste a Master Ball on it, but I don't care, I wanted the sword monster. Man, I got it, baby, I got it. This guy just doesn't wanna get caught. And honestly, he's not even a dragon type, so I'm not gonna spend too much more time on him. It's really cool to see him though. And now we know that he spawns way up here at the top of the hills. I would have never come here otherwise. I mean, we got him, we might as well. Oh no, that's bad. This is bad. All right, it's all right. We're healing up, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're just a little bit of, all right, we're gonna do slash back. It's gonna take us in the lava, that's okay. As long as we don't die. Oh, wow. Isaac, Isaac, Isaac. I'm gonna send you a teleport request. I'm gonna show you something really cool. Okay, enter the nether, keep inventory is off. What? See a nerd? <laughs> How'd you get up here? <laughs> he just left me in the top of the world. How did he even get to the nether? And secondly, 
How did he get to the top of the map right here? This is so trippy looking. Look at the sky right now. I feel like I'm gonna die up here. Okay. Oh, so I'm back in spawn right now. I'm looking for an area to sell these coins, but I did just find a hidden present up there, I believe. I think that's what this is at least. Oh, it was. I found a present containing five tokens and $500. Wow, we just got a free 500 bucks from just doing an Easter egg hunt around spawn on the Pixelmon server. Another $500. There's so much money just sitting around spawn in these presents. And all you have to do is just run around and find them. I just hit the mine shafts for over an hour. And let me tell you what, I just made out with so many different rare gems and stuff on the server. I mean, basically every furnace that I have here is full of different types of ore. The most important thing I found while mining though is actually this covered fossil right here because I am on a mission to hatch this thing out and see what type of rare fossil Pokemon we just found down there in the mine shafts. It was literally just like an ore I mined on the wall. The goal right now is actually gonna be to craft the fossil clean cleaner and like the fossil hatcher so that we can actually get this Pokemon into our squad. So in order to beat Isaac, I need to probably catch a couple of new Pokemon. And I got this idea where maybe I could just grab a couple random Pokeballs and throw them down here and literally just try to capture everything that I see as I walk by it like a menace. All right, all right, I'm going, I'm gonna go to the boss. I think I wasted all my, all my Pokemon. All right, I'm, I'm fighting this monster and uh, I can't even see my Pokemon right now. So I'm just gonna, oh, he already died. My creature already died. So this is a level 59 and I'm gonna send out my level 34, my little weird sword thing. And we're gonna see if we can't survive a little bit. It's still alive. I got 1% of the damage. All right, so I should have everything in my inventory to craft the fossil cleaner. So basically it's just some aluminum, redstone, and a glass pane. And now we have our first fossil cleaner. With that put down, we should be able to place this covered fossil inside if I'm not mistaken. Oh, look at this. It's already done before we even got our hatcher done. This is what we got, a bird fossil. What if we get a dragon type out of this? I'm so excited to see what this hatches into. So we'll store that in our chest for now as we go ahead and craft the rest of the fossil making equipment. Weeping Bell. Dead, boom, dead again. All right, I'm out of Pokemon. Literally everything died and I did 1% of damage. Okay, I guess I could come back, do a little heal of all the Pokemon I have. Let's just go randomly somewhere in the nether. I mean, I could mine a little bit. This obviously gold does sell for some good money. Okay, so three buckets down the middle with glass panes on the side gets us a fossil machine tank. That's two out of the four parts crafted now. The next one is super easy. You basically just need six aluminum like that. The problem is the last part of this crafting recipe is gonna require one obsidian. I don't have diamonds and I also don't have obsidian. All right, guys, I purchased three diamonds because we're gonna need a diamond pickaxe in order to get the obsidian. But luckily for me, I do have a lava bucket. We can just make a single obsidian in the river right next to me. Oh, I got third. They killed the boss and I got dirt, I think. Third place, I get a boss key. Yo, I just did nothing and I got a key. This is huge. We're not going to the nether. We're opening this boss key right now. That is massive. I did literally nothing, but I think because nobody else participated, I got this, but I am excited. This could be game changing. $25,000, that's what I won? That's actually really cool. Oh, I could have got 100K. 25 was the smallest amount. Okay, so we went ahead and we crafted all of the necessary stuff to actually make our fossilized Pokemon come to life. But unfortunately, we got one of the few fossils that requires an additional fossil to make it come to life. So we're not actually ready to make this thing work yet. But if we get another fossil, like a dragon fossil, we can combine it and that'll give us a actual Pokemon we can use. I could buy some skill keys. Pink PC. I'm not really sure what this does, but I bought it. I'm wondering if I can put this PC down inside my base and actually access it whenever I want. This would allow me to change my Pokemon out without going to the store. And it does, yes. A vending machine? Oh, wow. I can just buy lemonade in my house now. This would be a lot cooler if other people bought it and I got money. All right, guys, we have $560 before we sell all of these ores. Let's go ahead and see how much we have after the sale. Cause I think we're gonna be over the $5,000 market for lucky. What if I were to get some really strong water types, get like a boat, go out in the ocean, do a little exploration session, come back and have something powerful from the water. Let's go ahead and get in there and see if we find any ocean critters. All right, so after selling all of the ore in our inventory, we got up to $2,500. Not as good as I thought to be fair, but it's something and you know what? That's a start. And finally, from our mining trip, you randomly get these keys on the server for just doing different skills. Um, the skill that I was doing was mining, of course. So we got three keys that we can go to the shops and actually open. Here we go with skill key. Number one. Okay, we got 75 tokens. I'm not even sure what you do with those yet, but we'll figure it out. 
Okay, so that crate gave us 16 timer balls, a GS ball, and a park ball. That's pretty cool. We got some unique balls right there. I would love to get some different Pokemon in those. Eight ultra balls and 16 heavy balls. I'll tell you what though, we are set on actually good Pokeballs for a long time. We might want to use this and go out and capture some new Pokemon. Oh, there we go. He's low, he's low, he's low. Bag, Pokeballs, heavy ball, because I would imagine a metal creature. Did I miss? What the heck was that throw? Yes, that's what's up. Got ourselves a Skarmory. It's very cool. And um, I don't know, man, we're kind of in the desert vibe now. I'm just kind of going back and forth on these two right now, trying to catch them. This is the worst thing. I guess we're learning right now. This is an absolutely terrible strategy. Oh, yes, I got it. Right, I might try a tackle here. I think that's going to leave him in the low red. Yep, that was perfect knowledge by me right there. Now we go to our bag and we're just going to pull out the actual timer ball because we have 16 of those we got this guy pretty low i think we could catch him on this there we go that's our first upgrade to the team eakins is going to be replaced for our bot i'm going back home well i think with all the money i have the best thing i can do is just spend it all on a bunch of pokeballs so we're now down to sixteen thousand dollars. we have 27 ultra balls and i think what we're going to try to do here is if i can make just a little bit more money trading up and finding ores and things like that potentially down here this seems like a good avenue to go down to be able to just buy the pokemon i need because clearly capturing them was not a great strategy all right, guys, I'm going to do an RTP, which is basically you can just randomly teleport on the server. And I think this could be a good way to find some new stuff. Speaking of that, what did I just RTP into? Some sort of pokey village out here in the middle of the ocean? This is what I'm talking about. When you randomly just go places, guys, you come to awesome places like this. What even am I at? Oh, there's vending machines here. There's villagers. Can I take these? Oh my gosh, Loverfella bought these vending machines and I just found them for free out here in the world. I'm gonna ransack the whole village. There's gotta be so much good stuff here. An oven? I don't have an oven. I want that now. Oh, and there's loot chests in here. This could actually be insane. What did I just find on the wall? A sword? Yes, sir. I just got myself a water stone sword. That sounds awesome, actually. At this point, it felt like a good time to start expanding and adding upgrades to my base because all Isaac was doing was exploring and looting villages. I felt like this was a great time to get the lead back at home. Hey, what's going on, neighbor? Why are there level 40 spawning over here? What level are your Pokemon? Oh, we you talking about this guy? What's your Gyarados? At level 20, dude? I didn't catch a level 40. I don't even know how you got that thing. Lucky for me, though, you're actually spawning level 40s around me now that I can catch. You know, so I'm just going to use this to my advantage. Good luck catching them. That's all I'll say. Oh, first try, dude. What are you talking about? First try, I got a level 40. All right, and it's time to begin our flex on Loverfella. We're just going to put these things facing outwards towards Loverfella. I am nervous about Isaac right now in the situation he's in, but we just got to keep going and trust our instincts. All right. It does seem like the longer you stay in an area, the more Pokemon that spawn around you. So with that in mind, it might be smart to just go back to the base because there should be a bunch around here. Oh, see, look, look what I'm talking about already. There's another flying type up there that we could try to capture. All right. Now we have to figure out a way to get up to that thing. I mean, I guess we should just start harvesting dirt so that we can pillar up to it. Oh, he's going to land up on this island right here. I don't even know what this island is, but we got to get up there. He's a level 50. Oh, my my gosh, I'm about to use a master ball on this thing because I don't think we can kill it. Wait, we need to get out our bar brooch right away because he's the only thing that might be able to tank this. Oh my gosh, he's absolutely wrecking us right now. This is not good. All right, well, the Pharaoh won that battle. I mean, what was I supposed to do though? He was a level 50. He actually just ate us for dinner there. All right, we're going to teleport to new ultra space. We went to one the other day that was a jungle. This is the ultra deep sea. And so um, not really sure what I'm expecting here. I'm just going to explore and see. Can I take this? Oh, I can. Well, that's just a pretty block. That's just pretty to have. Crow Gunk, you are going to be joining the team and you're going to be my replacement for Totodile. I mean, guys, listen, he's a level 36 and he looks like an absolute tank. I feel like he could squad wipe Loverfella. So this is the guy we're going to go for. Isaac and I went around exploring and catching almost every high level Pokemon we could find just to prepare for our second round battle to see who was better. Isaac, what do you think we set up a battle here pretty soon? You about ready to fight? Let me go ahead and get like items on all my Pokemon because I did just get a bunch of new guys and then I'll come over and we'll fight. I don't think he's ready. I don't think he's ready. This is about to be crazy. Probably one of our last battles before the ultimate real battle, but this is a good um, kind of test point to see where each of us is at. Oh my gosh, I'm not even wanting to fight him. He has a level 55 Drapion. How on earth did he capture that thing? <laughs> Oh, whoops. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's go ahead and get in the field now, a little bit busy, and uh, let's start the very first battle. This should be good. What'd you throw out? A slow uh, A vola bully? You don't even know what that thing is. This is a disaster. Your team is broken. I'm gonna send something new out. Okay, I get Why are your team all level 40? What are you talking about? I was gonna hit him with a dragon breath here. See what that does. Oh my gosh. Come on, dearling. You're pretty freaking good. Oh, let's go. Isaac, what is happening? You just wait. You got this broken team right now. You're, oh my gosh. 
wiping the floor with him right now. This is crazy. Can you imagine if this was the fight? Bro didn't even hit me once. Everything he does immune to. I mean, how do you have a level 55? How did you even capture that? Oh, oh, wow. Look at that. Oh my God. Isaac, I'm getting an evolution. Watch it. Oh my oh, gosh, to add so insult to injury. Boy. What the heck? Look at this. Now you're even better. What's he turn into? Oh my gosh, he, he turned into a double sword, double blade. Bro, that is spectacular. Look at this thing, Isaac. Look at this. I killed one Pokemon on your team and that was only because you switched him for no reason. Look at that. How, just tell me, how did you get a level 55? That's like literally a legendary almost. Oh, this guy. Oh, I thought you were talking about this guy. Oh, he's even cooler. We might have lost two battles in a row now. All right, here we go. We're getting our free spin on the server. I didn't even know this was a thing. We got an expert belt, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It's well-worn belt that slightly boosts the power of super effective moves. What you doing over there, buddy? I'm trying to capture higher level Pokemon, but I really can't find any right now. They're all like level 30. Well, I know a strategy to find really rare high level Pokemon. And for the low price of giving me a couple of items, I'll tell you how I did it. $5,000 and I'll tell you. Oh no, I don't even have $5,000. I can't do that. I thought you wanted an item. All right, 15 Ultra Balls and I'll tell you. Nope, not doing it. Go away. I need to bait Isaac into doing this so that I can get more money from him. So I'm going to go back to one of these ultra spaces that are like really, really good. I've been here, but I'm going to look around harder for rare Pokemon, capture them, show Isaac how easily I can do this. And then hopefully he'll be more willing to give me the money and I can set him even more behind. It's quite the strategy. Oh, look at this thing. Too bad it's only a level 30. I would capture it because it's just crazy looking though. Listen, I've been chasing down this bug for a long time. It better be worth my time because I haven't even been able to see what level it is yet, but I feel like it's a high level. Here we go. It's a level 34, but it is a Yon Mega, and that's a cool Pokemon, and I would love to capture him and get him on the team. I think I just killed it, though. Oh, perfect. All right, we're going to use an Ultra Ball on him. That might be a waste, but I would really like to get a Yon Mega on the team. All right, there we go. We caught the Yon Mega. That is always really nice to do. All right, we're teleporting to a Badland location, and I'm hoping to find some new Pokemon away from home. There's a minecart system that's like right on the surface here, and there's actually a minecart chest that spawned on the surface. That is a pretty rare thing to happen, actually. I wonder what could be in this. Dawnstone. That seems pretty freaking good. Some raw black tumblestone, a crystal, some silicone, and a covered fossil. Could it be worth it to go in? to this mine shaft. There's another chest right here. What the heck is happening? Okay, this one wasn't near as interesting, but that's so cool that we just got a covered fossil right on the surface. That is an awesome looking guy up there. Holy crap, just before I went home to uncover this fossil, I found the big dog that we've been looking for, I think. We will literally get right to him. He's coming right to us. Oh, he's level 50. This is what we've been waiting for. Oh, yes, oh. a weird looking monkey, level 40. That's what I need in my team. Probably should have battled it first. I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, it worked. Did not, I mean, literally just never would have expected that to happen. I'm gonna go for this guy. He's a level 50. All right, we chipped him low. Come in with the ultra ball. Yes. All right, let's go heal up and then get these items back in our, or these new guys in our party and then show Isaac a little bit of what we did to the team. I'm trying my hardest right now to capture this thing, guys. I mean, I'm, I've thrown so many. Oh my gosh. Did we just seriously capture him? No freaking way. I'm standing at the top of the Mesa biome right now. And this is the point at which we turned our game around. We're literally going to take Loverfell in the next fight. And we're going to demolish him. I'm so confident in it. Let's see it. I want to show you something I caught too. Oh, I have one of those. Not at that level. I won them. Oh, wait, it can fly with you? Oh yeah, it can fly, baby. And it's level 50. It's going to change the game because this is going to be my mode of transportation to find my first legendary. I got this. A primate. And this. Please don't be level seven. What is that? <laughs> what? How the heck is that a Pokemon? What did they do to this game? What? I don't know. I don't even he know if it's so, real. That is the coolest Pokemon I've ever seen. Well, I still have a secret area where I capture a lot. So if you want the info, it's $5,000. And now, I mean, now that I figure out how to catch level 50s, I know how to do it. Now that Isaac just showed me this Skarmory trick that you can fly on him, I'm going to throw him. I will right click him. The idea is, oh, that's, oh, that's. I think the same thing Isaac did. The idea is that if we can fly these, we should be able to cover more land and theoretically locate legendaries. <gasps> a level 50 Weeping Bell. And we can use our Scammery to get it low. This could be game changing for us. Yes. After we use Agility and then Sand Attack, he's not going to be able to hit us. All right, we're asleep, but we are avoiding all the attacks right now. That's good. Okay, we got Weeping Bell down to 10%. Now we just got to start chucking some Pokeballs. This just proves how much of a game changer getting this Skarmory was. I just caught that Weeping Bell like nothing even happened. And I forgot we got this covered fossil while we were out. Let's go ahead and get this cleaned up and then see if we can add it to our fossil machine. We did the deep sea, we did the desert, we did the jungle. We, did we do the forest? Yeah, I've definitely never been here. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Lots of lanterns. I mean, this feels like uh, there would be something here worth taking. Hey, look at that. 
A computer, a lever, and a compass. Okay, the fossil is now done. We got a claw fossil, which can't be combined with the bird fossil, unfortunately, but I do think the claw fossil will work on its own. There we go. So once that gets to 100%, we're going to have a new Pokemon right here. I don't know. Can you use a Leaf Stone on a Weeping Bell? I don't think so, but maybe. Is that how you get a Victory Bell? I kind of am curious now. Oh my gosh, I'm a genius. Just know we're about to get a Victory Bell. Oh, I can kind of see it over the house. What a freaking find right there to capture that Weeping Bell and then realize I also had a Leaf Stone to get it to a Weeping Bell. Level 50 Magnetron. That's a good capture. I could really use him. I'll throw my Primeape against him. That'd be a great thing to bring in the team. I'm gonna be honest. Almost one shot it. Fortunately, I didn't. And I bought more Pokeballs in between this and the last. So I got 19 chances to get it. We should be able to bring this in. And it's a totally new type, Electric, which is gonna be fantastic. I don't think I have any Electric. Yes. Let's go. What is this gorgeous guy flying in right here? Is that a level 52? It seems like all the unique ones are level 50. Okay, it's an Oreo Chorio. He is very cool, but he is not level 50. If he ends up getting low, I'll capture him, but otherwise we're just gonna let him die. Nice, there we go. We captured Oreo Chorio, and I think we're just gonna add him to the team because he looks awesome. This thing is just beautiful. It's like a cardinal and a parrot had a baby, and this is what you get. Couple trainers. So we found like a literal Pokemon trainer city. This is cool. Bro, I can break the village. Oh my God, I can take everything. Wait, <laughs> I just noticed there's like an underground area. It's like an underground farm. Well, I'll set a home here so I can come back and battle them. You home? Yeah, I, put, I got a clock, stole it from a city. Okay, who'd you get? I'll show you. It's a it's a new type I didn't have any of. That's a cool one. That's an OG cool one. I know. My whole party is now level 50 except for two. Okay, well, I'm a little behind you, but I do have two level 50s and I'm gonna go capture some more. So I'm not too worried about that. It's really gonna be who gets the better legend here. I'm not even kidding. I just played three hours longer than Loverfella. He got off and I'm like, you know what? I got to grind to get ahead. Look at the farm I have created here. It is absolutely enormous. And I will show you why it's going to be the reason that we win today. So we're basically mass producing every single berry type on the server. And that's pretty important because with this machine over here called the infuser, I can actually make these things called juices that when given to a Pokemon increase their defensive stats, basically. Right, so the raspberry increases the attack stats of any Pokemon that I give this to. And we're going to be making 25 of them. So we can literally juice up our entire team with mega stats off of of all these berries. Let's go ahead and test this out. I did capture this guy while I was building my farm here and he is absolutely a massive tank. He's level 54. And I think if we give him these yellow juices, he's gonna get even more tanky. It's just like very difficult. None of my items are selling on the market. I don't think I've sold a single thing yet. How do I, how do I make money now? We've tried wood and it didn't work. We tried farms and it didn't work. We tried catching to sell Pokemon, that didn't work. We tried selling rare items, that didn't work. We're trying the experience method now. This gives us way less experience per upgrade than I expected. You know what though? Maybe I could try like some of the other stuff. Like what if I go and make a stone cutter, cut this into stone and people want this, that could work. All right, we're gonna leave a lot of it unharvested, but listen, I just, I don't know if I even need more than this. This is so many berries right now in my inventory. We gotta start getting production on the actual IV juices going. All right, we're gonna give him all 15 of these attacks IVs that should just boost his attack higher and higher and this guy should basically one shot anything that gets in front of him now I'm gonna try to sell a lot of these for $384 and see if I can get the market this is way less than I'd like but I bet you there's people out there that just want to do some building and they'd pay me the money and over time we'd make like decent cash really oh look someone did buy it that's our very first sale it only took us five days that's our very first sale so i'm looking at all the stats of my pokemon and just to show how op these juices are he now has 133 attack and 192 defense like he's only four levels higher than this guy and his attack is over double it the one hold up in this operation though is actually that we only have one of these infusers so i want to craft more of those so let's see what we have to do to make one we're looking for things that are expensive that i could get fairly easily and flip Shroom lights are $90 each in the store. And I bet shroom lights are things people would want to buy, right? We'll go ahead and go to a crimson forest. Whoa! What the heck is this? Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. A level 50 Don Dozo? Is this a legendary? I have to get this. This is the biggest thing I've seen just freaking swimming below me. I can't believe that. I can't believe this. Isaac's going to freak out. I, I can't believe this. Is, is this a legendary? I don't know if this is a legendary. I'm not sure what Don Dozo is. It sure looks like it. I'm about to look this up. I need to know what this thing is. Is this a legendary? It's so big, it has to be. I really thought I'd be out here making money and I found the biggest thing I've seen yet. It just puts a smile on your face. You spend so much time doing it. You know you're gonna beat your brother, I think. I don't know, I'm getting pretty cocky about this. So I, I think that might come back to bite me, but let's hope not. We got him halfway down. Now guys, what I'm gonna do is, as bad as I wanna show my brother at the moment, <gasps> 
I thought I killed it. Okay, I can't attack it anymore. Our very first part. My guy has literally the worst aim ever. He just throws it in a different direction. <gasps> I got it! Yes! Oh my god, I can't believe it. I was so close to not getting it. I need to spend my money right now to buy some more Pokeballs just to make sure that if I'm ever in that position again, I have plenty to throw. Because if I had to leave that battle, I would have lost my mind. We now have seven infusers on our little crafting station right here. And I am just going to start loading these things up with coal and berries so they can start producing the stuff that we need. It might be time for another berry harvest, everybody. I'm very much looking forward to this. I love harvesting the berries it's probably my favorite thing to do right now it's just so satisfying a new boss event i'm gonna go participate in that <laughs> if i throw it isaac's not even gonna know let's you know what we'll take a break from harvesting right now and we'll do slash boss and go visit this uh, i assume oh yep there's lover fella i knew he would be here guys i'm gonna start out with my worm here okay so this thing is a level 79 what the heck i'm not ready for that i'm gonna use the full party if i can just get in the top couple of people here i'm good i do see isaac's here as well competing so it's a matter of Oh, there's a big hit, baby. I'm getting squad wiped right now, but it looks like other people are actually managing to kill this thing. So if I just take my time, I think the other people will kill it for us. Isaac, you think you can do more damage than me, but you're not going to. Dude, my team already got wiped. I'm, I'm going back to the Poke Center. How on earth did you not die to that thing? He's level like 80. Oh, I did. I just went back, healed up, came back with my party again. I'm doing more damage. If you're damaging this thing, I'm in trouble because he one shots my best dude. He does, he does. He one-shots me too. I just kind of go in, occasionally he'll miss. I'm hitting him with Toxic to poison him. Dang, he one-shot everything. Well, eight people are participating. The odds of us getting uh, enough to, to kill it is just not high. I don't think we're gonna get any rewards there. Rewards, I got fifth. Oh, first, second, third, that's it. I don't get anything. So I didn't get a single thing out of that boss fight right there. What a waste of time. I could have been harvesting crops instead of being here. Now we can continue on our journey, go back to the nether. I'm gonna go to a Crimson Forest here. Set home netherite. That way I can TP here whenever I want to. We're gonna go back to our home and get smelting this immediately. And while that's smelting, I do like to take time occasionally to get my base a little upgrade. Maybe just a nice little simple, just, you know, ring of fire on the edge of my base just to let them know we mean business. What is that? Holy crap, it's massive. If that's a boss, I wanna kill it right now. All right, we're gonna have to like dive down. I think we're gonna hop off of our guy here into the water and try to get him on the way down. Boom! Did anyone just see that? That was an MLG and a half. I landed in the water so it didn't kill me and I initiated battle with a level 84 Pidgeot. Oh, Pidgeotto is gonna wreck us here. I don't know what I was thinking, but I, I had to do that. Like the, the play was there, so I had to go for it. Two netherite ingots, 59,000 each. Then someone in chat said, bro, please, for the love of God. <laughs> I don't think he likes my prices. No one will pity you. The shop is 75K. One of the mods just stepped in and he told everybody to settle down. My prices are so outrageous, the mods got involved. That goes to show you how bad of an entrepreneur or good I am. This player just listed three netherite ingots for a thousand and mine is 59. Can I listen for? I am being bullied. I love this so much, but I probably should lock in a little bit here because I think while I've been doing this, Isaac's been making some major progress. Isaac, you got quite the farm over there, buddy. Oh, we do, Zach. And trust me, my team is going to be literally like, all I can say, Zach, is steroids. That's the play today. Man, I just wish I could show you, but I can't. You know, let's just say there's a little something going on and that's all I can say again. Listen, I do have an interest in acquiring an item and I was wondering if you maybe had one. I need a leaf stone. Oh, I don't. But if I did, I can tell you I wouldn't give you one. Why are they getting mad at you for using the server? I'm, I'm on your side on this. <laughs> like, what the heck? Don't buy it if you don't want it. So we haven't gone to the taiga biome yet. This is a new one for us to explore. And my hope here is that I can find some of the more rare items that players want. Well, this is interesting. Let's explore. Oh, dude, can I sell an umbrella? You think I could sell this? <laughs> I'm gonna sell the umbrella. Blue water float. Dude, I literally think I found like one of the most strange looking villages ever, full of like custom items and materials. Has this been looted? Oh, it hasn't. Oh my goodness. Okay, so wow, no freaking way I found an entire place that wasn't looted yet. All right, we're looking for any level 50 Pokemon that spawns naturally. They're a lot more rare than all the common ones, but if we find one here, it should be a new guy for us. I will take a level 50 Zigzagoon at this point. I just got to get some new Pokemon into the team. Pika Mug. Oh, this is going to sell for 10K. Getting so mad. He just listed a big TV for $10,000. Zach, nobody's gonna buy that stuff. They're roasting you in the chat. I know, but like you would think somebody out there has a brain and wants a TV. Listen guys, that strategy is never gonna work. The people on this server are not gonna buy his junk and that's what he's selling, junk. 
Yes, this is what I was looking for originally. A full on snowy wonderland. There's gotta be some cool guys here. It was finally time we started preparing for our end game battle to see who was the true Pokemon champion. So we decided to take our final separate adventures, searching for the last Pokemon to help us. Okay, what is this guy? See, this is one of the ones I'm talking about. He's alone and he's a little bit different than all the other fish. So I wonder if this guy could be level 50 for us. Oh my gosh, he is. This is what I was talking about, guys. You gotta find the solo Pokemon that are out here. Perfect. Okay, he one-shot Gyarados. That's to be expected. Listen, he's not going down without a fight, but I can't really afford to attack him any lower because I think I might one-shot him with any of my moves. So we're just going to keep chucking Ultra Balls. Eventually, he'll stick. I'm confident. You know, it's, it's a wonder my guy hasn't drowned to death. There we go. We caught the freaking Bazula. That is awesome. He's like a cool little, like, dark purple shark thing. This seems like a rare Pokemon thing here, but um, whatever. This is perfect. We need it. Let's capture it. Problem is, I would probably one-shot it with this, so I think I need to try a different Pokemon. There we go. Got him down where I need him. Now I throw out the whale, and I don't think this guy's gonna do enough damage on the whale to be able to get through it. And now we go for about 10 minutes trying to capture this thing, because it's quicker than training him. Guys, Isaac and I just agreed we have under an hour left until the final battle takes place. So, I am going to go through all the warps on the server and see if there's any interesting warps that I could get to that might give me some sort of advantage. All the moves you can learn from tutors, like maybe if I go to these tutors and get some cool moves, that would be helpful. Oh, so you go to these tutors and you use tutor tokens to buy a move. Problem is, I don't seem to be able to afford very many of them. It really doesn't even matter now. I just have to get a six Pokemon on the team. Any level 50, we can now consider using the Master Ball for, because if we lose the battle, we'll lose our entire team, and that's just not acceptable. Can anybody learn the poison moves? Gunk Shot. I'm gonna learn Gunk Shot on this guy and we're gonna get rid of Focus Energy. And I don't know that I can afford anymore. I think that's all I can get. We can at least get our guy maxed out on attack here. Oh wait, there's a Dragonite up. No way. Where's that, where's that, where's that, where's that? Oh my gosh, we just got a Dragonite for $5,000 off the store. I was asking in chat if anyone had a Pokemon I could buy and someone said, yes, I'll put it up right now. Holy crap, we gotta take a look at it behind the house here. Oh my gosh, it's a shiny Dragonite. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. What a cool dude on the server just gave me this man he kind of looks like he's uh his eyes are kind of telling me something there he's a level 70 though who cares we got to get this thing maxed out on ivs as soon as possible somebody just offered to trade me i asked if anyone had a leaf stone and this person wants to trade with me no freaking way are they gonna give that to me for free wow what a player sophia 847 is just gonna give me a leaf stone for free i believe this is going to allow us to evolve our gloom yes the team is coming together so nicely. Gosh, now we have a beautiful vile plume. I don't even know if that really did much. Oh, I guess we get Petal Blizzard now, which does 90 damage. That's a good move. <laughs> Your listing has been forcefully removed. Oh my goodness, a mod just warned me. Twice. Three times! The triple warn! How's your team looking, big guy? I may have lost every single battle so far, but I've never been more confident in my team. We are ready. I have a couple of things to do with some items that I've been saving onto this whole time, so I'm gonna have to re-loot my team up with the gear and items that I want them to use. Okay. All right, this cell phone battery increases damage of electric Pokemon. We have everything set up and good to go. It's a gentleman's battle, so that means no other items, no potions, no anything else. Whoever wins this battle that we're about to take place in gets to keep their account, the loser deletes it, and the winner gets bragging rights in front of all you guys. Welcome, Isaac. All I have to say to you is good luck. Quick handshake. Quick Shake. Handshake. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Man, what a battle arena this is. All right, Zach, are you ready to get this battle started? Three, two, one, throw. Zach, I'm about to beat you down with the worm. Super effective. Let's go. Kicking a bug works. What the heck? Oh, Isaac's is also super effective, but mine attacked first. So if mine hits it again, it'll kill it. I'm definitely going to have to pull him back now because your guy's faster and that's not going to do for me. Dude, I got some unique Pokemon. I was hoping that you wouldn't know the types of them. Okay, okay. So that's little, very little damage done by this guy. I don't like that. I don't like that. Will you though, Zach? Boom! Oh man, that was a big play by him. He blasts. He gets the kill. Folks, I think I am in... We're tied. We're tied right now. What? Worm! We're about to wipe the floor with a worm, guys. No way. And he got to attack twice in a row! Worm! Oh, you killed my worm! All right, no. all right. At least that guy's out of the way. I know Isaac still has a low... I mean... I don't know, man. Dude, I'm getting absolutely washed with right now. I am destroying him right now. Oh, Drapion, no. This is not good. This has been my plan with Skarmory since the beginning. I'm gonna decrease your accuracy, Zach, and then I'm gonna use agility a bunch so that you can't even hit me. <laughs> it's already oh, it working. Seems to be working. It's already working. I double sand you, and now I'm double agility. So I'm basically like unhittable at this point. 
Dude, another paralysis. Couldn't do moves. Oh, this is not good. Isaac's playing well. I'm going to give it to him. Now I'm well. growing up and I'm increasing my special attack to use Petal Storm. I've, I've attacked three times and it's missed in a row. That's because I sanded you down. I sanded you down. Now my special attack is super high. I've used growth three turns in a row. It's time to pull out the Giga Drain. Oh, yes. That growth was amazing. It made his attacks do so much damage. We're down to our last Pokemon. I hope it does well but I'm a little worried. This is what I'm worried about. Who is it? What is that? <laughs> it's a whale lord tadpole. It's a water type and I'm growth up. Here comes the petal blizzard to end the game. No! It one shot the whale? That doesn't even make sense. It was a whale. Are you kidding? Let me tell you no. what, let me show you something I didn't even have to pull out. Are you ready for this? How did you get that, actually? You lost without me even needing him. He was my trump card. Once again, I want to thank Anubis MC for partnering with me in today's video. And if you guys want to have a lot of fun and battle your friends with Pokemon, you can check their website out at AnubisMC.com, join their server with the IP address here, and then type in this command to get a bunch of free items from me. See you guys there.